Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are working in the Wanderlust Large. We are currently making this uh, Traveler's Notebook slash mini album using Misty Rose by Prima. That is the paper collection we are using. And we're using the large, I think we're using bits and pieces of the large, medium, and small. If you would like to see how we made this from start to finish, there is a link down below to a playlist just for this album. It will start with the uh, intro to the templates first. That would be the first video. And then the second video will be constructing the covers and so on and so forth. Also, if you're interested in the Wanderlust templates, there will be a link down below for that as well. Those are available in my Etsy shop. They're available in three different bundles, the large, medium, small bundle, the large, medium bundle, and the medium, small bundle. Today is Valentine's Day. Well, not today while I'm filming, but this is bothering me. The day this video is gonna go public is gonna be Valentine's Day. And so I thought that would be the perfect day. Um, that's that's um, February 14th, 2019. I thought that would be the perfect day to do a secret hidden coupon code. So what that is, is somewhere in this video, uh, a, a secret code will pop up and it'll be a combination of letters and numbers and it will pop up somewhere in the video and it will be up there for a couple minutes. It's not gonna be black, it's not gonna be a word, um, it's not gonna be super, super obvious, but it, it, it will be there. It won't be super hard this time because it is Valentine's Day and I kinda wanna just express my appreciation to all of you guys. So it won't be super hard, but you still do have to find it. It's still somewhere in this video and it will be good for 50% off of everything in my shop for one day only, that's from midnight to midnight um, on January, I'm sorry, on February 14th, 2019. That is all based on my time. Sometimes I let the coupon code go uh, past midnight because, you know, people are that close. Um, but all you have to do is enter it into it's your checkout on Etsy. Go to Etsy, be sure you're logged in, um, put everything in the cart that you want, enter that coupon code, um, and then it'll take 50% off of your entire purchase. You can use it as many times as you want um, in that day, but it's supposed to be fun, so don't share the code. If I see it in the comments or on Facebook or anywhere, if I hear that it's been shared, um, that kind of just takes the fun out of it, and I'll just deactivate the code, so we don't want that. But I promise you, this one won't be hard to find, but you do have to find it. Um, again, it's, it's, it's going to be faint, but it'll be there, and it'll be a combination of letters and numbers, and there will be no spaces. No spaces. So when you put it into Etsy, remember that. Okay, so all of that information will be down below in the show more section as well. Um, okay, so we are working again. This is the, whoops, this is the album that I made for MadeCon. Uh, that we went to Tennessee in September of 2018. Some of you have kids, some of you don't. So what we have left that's already made, that it's already been planned out, is Traveler's Notebook inserts. Now, there's two of them. We have made both of these types of inserts in previous uh, videos. So I will link those below. So one of them is a junk journal type insert. Um, this is part of the Wanderlust. This is with the extra pages. Um, there's coffee dyed paper. There's some from the collection. There is a book page, glassine bags, cream colored paper, you know, the smaller cutoff pieces. Anyway, we've made this before. So I am going to, oh, and there's like a, a pocket back here um, in the back. So I will link those videos down below so that we're just not repeating ourselves. Um, so there's that one, and then there is this one. This one is got that Rodea dot grid paper. You know, that is my favorite, favorite, favorite dot grid paper. Um, but we've made one like this before as well. This one has a coffee dyed paper in the center. Um, this one has a glassine bag on the front. 
which is, this is kind of like a basic size glassine bag. So this one is like three and three fourths by six and three fourths. I will try to link these glassing bags in my Amazon shop, my Amazon, not my Amazon shop, in my Amazon store. That reminds me, there is a list specifically for the Misty Rose um, album. So anything that I use should be in that Amazon store or the equivalent to, um, that's also down below. Um, let's see. Um, anyway, so this one has like a glassine uh, bag pocket. Um, you can see I wrote made a con September 13th or 15th. Um, you know, I, I love, I use these as notebooks all the time, um, but I didn't use this one because it was the prototype. So what I did is I went ahead and made these off camera. So again, I will link these below. I went ahead and made these off camera. Let me move my workbook there for a second. So again, I, I, I haven't even put them in yet because I wanted to show you both of them. So here is the junk journal one. So all I did was I traced out the um, traveler's notebook cover, which is on page 10. It is on page 10. It looks like this right there. Oh, we can't see the whole thing. It looks like that right there. Um, I traced it this time onto the scrapbook paper um, instead of running it through my printer, just because I don't know why. Um, but that's what I did. But I did leave a pocket and I did use that same punch. Remember I said we were going to use that punch some more. So I did use this floral lace punch. Um, I don't think I found it yet. I need to find that sucker. Shoot. Um, so I put that on the pocket. So I think that looks really cute. So I've got the same glassine pocket back here. And I've got the same um, library pocket up front. Um, and then there's cream paper, book page. There's a coffee dyed cream paper. There is the scrapbook paper. Again, I punched that edge just um, in case I want to make it a pocket or something. So I've got that. I punched the edge of the smaller part of the book page that I cut off. There is a piece of um, vellum, coffee dyed paper. There is a little vellum pocket that I punched the edge right there. Um, and this is just the cut off pieces from the cream colored paper and then so on and so forth. So that it just repeats itself throughout here, right? So that's the junk journal. And then we just did the easy three hole, uh, binding right there. And so then here is the, uh, notebook and the label on the front is on page eight of your templates. So that is right here page eight in the large um, this is my workbook by the way if you want to see how I made my workbook then um, I'll have a playlist down below for that as well so um, this one has a pocket in the middle this one does not have a flap so what I thought would be fun instead of using instead of using this um, glassine bag as the pocket in the front which you still can because if you have a kit you you have one of those I thought let's make our own glassine bag envelopes okay so we're gonna do that instead that's what we're gonna do in this video um, I think we're gonna make two we are we're gonna make two one out of glassine paper and one out of wax paper so I'm gonna set these two aside so I'm gonna grab the things that I need I'm going to Use the envelope on page 13. This is the large envelope, envelope number two. I'm gonna use that. And then I also have, this is a piece of glassine paper. This is 12 by 12 glassine paper. Um, I'll have that linked down below. It's really not as hard to find as you think, but I'll have it linked in my Amazon list down below. And then I was thinking, well, what if you don't have glassine paper, but you do have uh, like the wax paper? See, I use wax paper a lot when I'm spraying, I, to, you know, to catch the overspray. Um, these are kind of all stuck together. But when I'm using, you know, uh, India ink sprays and stuff like that, um, there's one that's not been used. Um, so I was thinking about using one of these as the pocket, but none of the colors set right with me. For this project so this is what I'm using this is I got this 500 sheet 
premium heavy duty wax paper. I think I got this like at a Sam's or something. Um, this is a 12 inch by 10 inch, 10 and 3 fourths inch. Not that that matters. Um, as long as it's big enough for the envelope. But that's what I thought. I thought I'm going to use some of this wax paper um, instead of the glassing bag. So then I thought, you know what, just do both. So I did both. So let me show you. These are the finished product. Um, one is glassing and one is wax paper. This is the wax paper. The only, the only reason I can tell is because it's got that line down the, this line here. Um, and then this one is the glassing. So they do feel a little bit different. They sound a little bit different. Um, the glassing paper is thicker than the wax paper. But I'm going to show you. We're going to do we're going to do both. So all I'm going to do Let's see. Do I want to do it like this? Is I'm going to take this template. I'm going to lay it on here. I'm going to take a Sharpie pen or something with a fine tip and I'm going to trace around the outside. I'm not going to trace all the other lines just around the outside. I got it close to the edge there. I don't want to mark on my table. All right, so there's the wax paper one, right? And then now let me go ahead and do the glassine bag one. So again, we're just going around the outside, or not the glassine bag, the glassine paper. get my paper trimmer out. This is a Fiskars Precision paper trimmer. Okay, so I'm just going to actually going to trim it right inside that black Sharpie mark. So I'm kind of cutting that off there. And there's a few straight edges. I'm just going to go ahead and cut those with my paper trimmer. A few straight edges that I can get to anyway with my paper trimmer. There's several straight edges. All right, so let me go ahead and get this one too. And then for all these other pieces, I'm just going to cut them with my scissors. Gonna be hard to do and try to keep it in focus or in, in camera here. I don't even know if I'm in camera right now. Okay. See what I'm talking about. Normally I would have this laying down on the table like this and I would have it off the edge. <laughs> Um, of the table. I don't know. I'm being weird. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to finish cutting this one out and then I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now they are both cut out. So let's start with the wax paper one. All you need to do is Fold them point to point where your cut mark stops. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you do not have to um, score this at all. You just need to kind of be careful that you're getting it in the right spot.
Somebody asked me about my pinky nail. He was like, oh my gosh, what did you do? It looks like you've really hurt yourself. Um, yes, I did. I, believe it or not, I was doing my nails. This was a couple weeks ago, and uh, I was filing my nails, and my mind just wandered to someplace else. And the next thing you know, I had done filed through my nail bed. That is so, such a bad thing to do. <laughs> You guys, I don't know what happened. I didn't need to file that much. There was nothing that needed to be filed away. I was just smoothing it out. I don't know. My mind was just, I didn't even know what happened until I went to do the fill-in part of it. And it burned like a son of a gun. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's what I did. Yeah, I hurt myself. Alrighty, so now I'm going to get a mat. This is just a non-stick. I'm not even sure which brand this one is anymore, but I'll try to find it and link it in my Amazon shop store, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now I'm going to take Distress Ink. This is Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. That's what we've been using. And before we glue it together, I am going to ink up the edge it's going to be on the inside of the envelope because um, it's hard to ink up once you've got it glued together. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for this just a second. So here we go. We got the wax paper. We got the glassine. Now we're going to get some art glitter glue and we're going to seal it up. We're just going to go along the bottom here, a little bit on the top, on the edge. All right, we're just going to seal it up. Just like that. Now we're going to do the glassine bag one. You could, if you wanted to, you could use something like uh, glossy accents or something, but this is fun. Okay. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ink again and we're gonna go around all the edges. And we're just, it depends on what you're doing, but for our purposes, for what we're gonna be doing, we're going to, well, I guess it doesn't matter. You do whatever you want. If you wanna ink up the front and the back, you go right ahead and you ink up the front and the back. Just, just in case. Just in case I don't glue it down. You never know. So if you, oh, you know what I didn't get? I didn't get that edge. Wasn't paying any attention. That's okay. Get back in there. It may not matter. That particular edge may not matter. So if you really dig this look, it might be worth, the, I mean, I think the glassine bag is probably better or the glassing bag the glassing paper is probably better for this I feel like it's sturdier so if you really like that glassing paper or glassing bag feel then it would definitely be worth looking into getting a pack of it I think I bought um, for for something I don't even remember what it was but it was like a thousand sheets holy guacamole I don't think you have to, to buy that many <laughs> I don't think you can get it um, not as many quantities but maybe if you had to get it in a big quantity you could get it you could go in with some friends and you guys would have a limit an unlimited amount of glassine bags <laughs> okay all right so then the next thing i'm going to do to give it that really cool texture you could stop there right you could leave it like that but if you want it to look like cool like this 
um, then we have to do one more step. Okay, can, can you see the difference there? This is, you know, before, after, right? Cool, right? All right, so to get that look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I've got a Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer. Um, you don't have to have this, it could just be a regular squirt bottle. And we're going to get it pretty good and wet. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could just leave this to dry, leave it alone to dry, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna use, this is a Ranger Heated Craft Tool. So I'm gonna use this and I'll probably either speed it up or cut it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, dry this. You can also, if you wanted to get some cool effects, let me move these aside for a second. Where we was doing the inking, we could go ahead and get that wet as well. And then you could flip them over and, you know, get some extra little droplets. Oh, you know what, too? Let's go ahead and spray the back since I inked them. So this is going to take longer to dry, but that's okay. So the wax paper is wanting to get out of, um, get out of, what am I trying to say? Form? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm recording and uh, I just got a notification that May May's live. So I thought this would be funny. I'm going to show you guys. May May's live. Why won't my phone turn? Okay, so I'm going to send her a message. I'm going to say, hey guys, I'm recording, so say hi. Let's see if she says hi. Oh, let me turn it up. The ones on the placemats that I used the other day, I didn't realize they discontinued those, but this is the replacement for that, basically that straight up and down letter, so it'll be beautiful, but that's what's available now, because we had somebody asking about those letters today. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at how cool. Those are cool. Chalk Tour. Have you guys tried that? Farm Fresh Main Street. Um, oh, look at this. There's a new little... Oh, this is a Chalk Stories piece. So it says, Chalk Stories, tell your story your way. Each transfer design in this Chalk Stories collection can be used independently. Or Donna Jo said hi. To complete several <laughs> custom projects for a look that is uniquely yours. Step one, survey your space. Step two, determine the number of size of projects you desire. <laughs> Step three, select the surfaces that speak to you. And step four, build your design. So this is made to cut apart news with, is this the story? How do I know the story name? I bet it's on here. It's down here. Hey, uh, Genevieve said she's recording, so say hi. Hi, Genevieve. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, my goodness. It's good to hear from you. I'm great. Anyway, all right. So let me let me stop her. That's funny. She was uh, recording something the other day, and she was said somebody said something about me, and she said that she said that I made her nervous, or no, what was it? It's uncomfortable being around me. <laughs> no, what? How did she say? It? Yeah, that's how she said it. She said she's fangirling. <laughs> that is something, cause I was fangirling on her. That's not fair. <laughs> Anyway, that's funny. Oh, these are mostly dry. I um, I was blotting off some of the excess. I just can't. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I got distracted by May May. I was talking to her. I was answering her back instead of typing back. That was so funny. She's a hoot. Okay. So now we have these two really cool. This one's the wax paper and this one's the glassine. Wax, glassine. And my mom used to do that. <laughs> she, she, she used to do that all the time. So the wax paper is thinner. It is very much thinner and the glassine is a little bit thicker. So that's what I thought. Move this out of the way. So now I've got four. 
So what I thought I would do is, is it this one I'm putting it in? Yeah. I thought I could put this in here like that, right? So it could be a pocket and maybe leave it open on the side so it could be something could be tucked under there as well. What do you guys think? So I think that would be cute. And then maybe we'll have, we might have to use a piece of washi to keep it closed. I don't know. Right? So I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. So think about all the different things you can make um, look really cool like this by using the glassine paper or the wax paper or whatever kind of fun paper you can find. Okay, so I'm going to try to center that. Right, so there's one. And then, should I put this one back here? I'm kind of, I'm wondering, what if I glued it together? No, that would be kind of silly. And cut the ends off and made it a pocket like that. No. I guess I could just do the same thing. Or I could just hang on to it. You know, like these can be like glued on to, for example, they can be glued on to one of these pages if you wanted to. Let's see. Like this pink page here. See, that would be kind of cool. All right? And do the same thing. Maybe let's do it on the opposite side. So we could stick that here like that. Right? And maybe leave it open as a pocket. And so this one is the wax paper one. Oh, I don't want to glue that one down. I like the, the coolness. I, the other one, I like the coolness of that one, too. This is the wax paper. Um, yeah, this one's not near as cool on the back side. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot what I was doing. Come on. Well, that wind is kicking. All right, so you can add it right inside your signatures. So now you have an envelope, and then you also have a pocket. Okay, so I think I'm going to hang on to these. See, that back side, I could have um, glued that side down versus the other one that looked really cool. So... All right, so I, I'm going to leave it just like that. You know, no, I'm not either. I'm going to grab my washi tape and see if I can use it as a closure on this wax paper because it's thinner. I'm worried that it might come off. So let's just use a little piece. Let's just, this little leftover piece from the last video. And so we'll just see how that works out. So that's like a little closure for that. And then... The glassine bag one, it won't have a problem with it all. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you can put it on the glassine paper. Whoop, if I can find the end. Just like that. I like it. Okay, so then these will go in like this one, I think it's going back here. And this last elastic right there. And there's some pretty coffee stained paper. I will have a link down below to, if you don't want to coffee stain your own paper, I'll have a link down below if you want to um, purchase it because there's a sellers on Etsy. Oops, what happened? Let's put that back in there. There are sellers on Etsy. Um, that you can get it from if you don't want to mess with it. But I think it's worth it. You can also, you can always age your paper just like we just aged, you know, these envelopes. You can age your paper the exact same way. Okay. So there is the junk journal insert. Let's go ahead and put a, a rusted clip. Uh, again, I have a video on how I rusted some stuff. And then we'll put one back here on the notebook. I really dig that. We're going to have to be doing that some more. 
Oh, let me erase the page number. I wrote the page number right there so that I knew where that label came from. <laughs> right? Okay. All right, you guys. That is all I have for you today. So, did you happen to find the secret coupon code? If not, go back and watch. Um, it's only good for the first day this video goes public, which will be February 14th, 2019, from midnight to midnight, uh, Eastern Standard Time. That is my time. Um, all that information will be down below. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. There should be a little button right here you can hit and check to see if you are subscribed. And then here's a link to my Etsy shop. Um, be sure that you are logged in your Etsy account before you make a purchase. It causes some havoc if you're not, if you purchase as a guest. Um, and there should be some other videos up here that you may enjoy watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.